so in this video we are going to cover this entire page so this is the research and development page and i'm going to add all of these things right here so let me show you how we can you know design it so let me proceed towards uh, our visual studio code and i'm going to make a file right here so the file name is going to be the r e s e a r research research and development dot html so, so basically we need to design only this section and rest of them we are going to copy from the home page okay and uh, that's it so let's design it so the first thing that we need we need this and this section from here to here okay copy it and paste it right here i only need this thing okay and now we have uh, body and html closed and let me open this into the server and uh, let me show you that how exactly it looks like so this is the this is how our home page looks like okay uh, research and development page looks like so now we need to copy this research and development let me type all of these things so this is the page and i'm going to type this heading so let's see research research and development research and development now we have all of these things you know uh, now we have we have these things now we need to design this this thing and we need uh, actually we need two columns so i'm going to close it and i'm going to approach both you know this entire thing right here so how we can do it basically we need a section and along with that section we need at least two columns okay so let me add it right here and the section name is going to be the section that we need actually uh, is going to be the research and development i'm going to add only rd okay research and development we need a row and then we need at least two columns so i'm going to call this two co column okay and inside the s3 we need to we need a heading so let's say get better r e s e a r research and research towards towards advance ad, advance v a n c advance augmented reality or go augmented reality okay reality reality if i will made a mistake in you know in anything then please forgive me because i don't know what exactly i'm right uh, like uh, if i will do any mistake in my like in my spelling then please try to understand that i'm not doing it purposefully okay so br and then we need another 40 not 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 uh, we don't need it that much i'm going to save it okay so now we have this and this heading right here let me add some of other 20 uh, 20 words and now we have this okay after that uh, let's say we need to have this column okay i'm going to uh, target at least two columns so this column is ending right here so let me add this column and the column name is column two and inside this column we need a image okay and that's the simple thing that we need and the image that we are going to target is also the name or rd and job, the image name is dot jpeg okay so now we have you know this uh, this image and this thing right here okay so let's ta target the uh, css sorry css basically i'm not going i'm you know moving towards the sas that's why i'm see, saying css i was coding from in the sas from last couple of hours so that's why okay so rd i'm not going to comment it out you know and so let's say rd rd and in this we need a width we need the width around 100 percent after that we need a margin so margin must be 100% for 
100 pixels from top to bottom then auto after that we need to call this call to and uh, i think flex basis let's have around 45 percent okay and then after that let's call this call to and then target this img and the width is going to be there you can easily understand the width must be 100 percent okay and then let's target this rd and then call to and we have s3 heading okay the phone size i'm going to take is 4 rem and uh, after doing all of these things uh, you can easily remember that, that we have the phone size okay and now we need to give the margin from the bottom because uh, definitely you need a margin from the bottom and let me see okay so now we have all of these things okay and uh, let me target another thing okay so we need a paragraph and then we need a button so the button is going to be the btn and let's say read more i think read more is enough and hopefully this will going to work and uh, we don't we need a hashtag and we need a class btn not this btn okay so now we have this button and inside before uh, up before this button let me add this pr tag okay so now we have this pr and this button right here so basically uh basically we are going to have this button right here and uh, let me fix it so in this call to we need a anchor tag we need to target it and margin from the top around 40 pixel that's it 40 pixel margin from the top and i think our width is something like uh, something wrong with our width right this thing is not okay so let me see what i actually did so this is the call to and uh, this is the call to and uh, basically call to and uh, let me save it actually someone is calling me again and again i don't know why so in the middle of the video i cannot pick the call so sorry for that if you are if you heard any kind of voice and then call two we need to fix it okay width must be 80 percent let's leave it okay not 90 percent i don't know i i didn't you know 90 percent is enough i think 90 percent not now we have this thing okay in this way or let's say 95 percent both of the things are fixed and this must be you know uh, mobile friendly automatically now the rest of the things that we need is from index.html and i think we are done after this thing so let me copy this index.html file and this is the entire entire thing that we need to copy so copy it from research and development and paste it right here so i'm going to delete this and paste it right here okay now we have footer and everything and it is uh, you know it is reloading and now we have all of these things right here so yeah that's how you can easily design it and this was so easy so thanks for watching guys bye bye take care see in the next tutorial and into the next tutorial we are going to finish our contact page and that is going to be the last video of this entire series so if you stick from the uh, from the beginning thanks for watching thanks for you know helping me out so bye bye take care see in the next tutorial